Hi, I'm just giving you a quick video to show you how you can do a slideshow very quick and easy in TrackAx PC Pro. Um, here I have a folder, so I, um, the media browser finds all the media in your hard drive, so here's your C drive. And I have photographs in my documents. And then I can just go down and find the folder that I know the files are in. So here I have a uh, folder called Ruby, and here I can see all my images so I can just click on them to preview them and then they're previewed in the video output screen now we have a new release coming out for people who purchase TrackX PC that you'll be able to see the thumbnails so that will be coming out in the very near future but you can just preview by just going down and previewing the photographs that you want to use so I'm just going down and previewing all the videos that I, the photographs that I want so here's a photograph that I want to use so I can simply just drag and drop it into the mixing screen so here's my first video and again just previewing the, vi the photographs that I want to use so here's another photograph of me and my daughter and then I can just drag and drop it in so now that I have two videos in together I can see that these two videos are together and there's a fade in there now I can change the fade by right clicking and selecting fade type to smooth maybe or I can even right click on it and insert a transition so I could maybe put in a uh, radial wipe let's say so now radial wipe is in there so now you can see that there's a radial wipe in there and of course I can always go in and change the transition properties by right clicking on it and selecting let's say a wedge like so and then I can just continue adding on to my photographs here just to preview another one here so then I can just drag and drop it in so you just build up your mix with your photographs by previewing them and dragging and dropping them so now if I want to add audio in I'll just go to my audio tracks here again you just find um, where your audio is so I have it in um, a folder here called du, 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 iTunes library and let's say I just want to use uh, Johnny Cash track so I can just preview it and of course I can just drag and drop it into the mixing screen so once that's parsed that whole track is in there and so when the track is brought in you'll see that it's, it's automatically bound to the global tempo of 120 BPMs but I just want to play it at its normal detected BPM so I'll just unlock the track from its tr beat syncing and then I can just move it anywhere I want so it'll just play at its normal speed <coughs> so there's my audio track now if I want to just make it a small part of it I can just grab it and holding down the left button of my mouse I can adjust the size so I can just use that part of it or I can drag and drop it there so I'm able to adjust the size of the track so I can just bring in that little bit there so there's the first part piece of audio now I can also edit the track if I want by just double clicking on it so here's another track and that brings it down into the track cutter. Now the track cutter is an area where you can edit little pieces of music and video and just cut out the areas that you want to use. So now that I have the audio track in the track cutter, I can actually just scrub it and go through where I want, or I can grab the play bar and go to whatever area I want. So let's say I want to use this little area. And I just want to use this little 15 second clip let's say so I just hold down the shift key on my keyboard the left button of my mouse to just create a selection box and now I'm just using this area now you might want to just get a perfect cut and you'll notice that it's just snapping trying to make a perfect loop and you might not want this so just right click and select unsnap to snap to grid so you just want to uncheck that box and now you can 
move the selection box to anywhere you want and I can also zoom in to areas just with the scroll wheel on my mouse so I can really get the exact cut that I'm looking for so here's a little area that I want and I can just put the loop button on here so that it'll just play continuously so I'm happy with that little selection and I just right click and select copy and then go to the area that I want to paste it into and just select paste so there's a boy named Sue in there and then I can just I can actually cross fade them so it'll fade into the next track like so and because I've got it unsynced here you don't have to worry about it being locked at a global tempo so it's just a very simple process of just dragging and dropping photographs and audio in and cutting it in the track cutter if you want so you can just make another cut hold the shift key and the uh, on the keyboard and the left button of the mouse make your selection copy and paste it in so that's how you can make a slideshow very very quick and very easily so I've just made a quick slideshow with a lot of different audio and photographs and then once I'm happy with that I can just export it so I just click on the export button save it as an mp4 or WMV and then you can change your audio codec for better quality 256 to 128 the highest quality is uh, level 5 you can improve the frame rate up to 30 or down to 20 it really depends on what you want and then your your frame size how big you want it to be you can be you can have it 640 by 480 and you can go up to 1280 by 720 which is YouTube HD uh, really you can do whatever you want so it's just a simple process of dragging and dropping and then bringing your audio in unlocking it to the global tempo and then making your cuts I uh, hope this video helps and if you've got any questions please don't hesitate to contact me. Best regards Cormac.